Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without him. It's Mr. Jamie Oliver. Uh, Jamie's going to be whipping up some desserts from uh, from his uh, his new uh, cookbook, and here it is. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, Jamie cooks at Italy. And uh, we are. And back to the kitchen. Are you ready for this? Oh, they're good. Very good. Mm. Oh, I want them So, now. fresh really? cherries can be quite expensive this time of year. Um, but if you get the jarred <laughs> ones, uh, these are again. called maraschino <laughs> cherries. They're that nice. Mm. As you can see, mm. they are really genuinely delicious. But they come in a really interesting syrup. So, look out for those in the supermarkets. We're making a tiramisu, guys. Oh, a tiramisu. It. Classically with mascarpone cream, which is very, very rich. I've cut it 50 50 with really good organic yogurt. Why? It does lighten it, but you get a little kind of lift of acidity. So, I think right. that's really, really nice. Now, if you can whisk for me, darling. Sure. I'm going to add some vanilla paste to this beautiful mascarpone and yoghurt mi mixture. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to add some of your this morning honey. About two teaspoons. That's the sweetener that we're going to use. Right. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this is a tiramisu of a twist. We're going to Christmas, we're going to Christmas it up. We're going to use limoncello, OK? So a little swig can go in here. Um, but what we've actually done is if we look over here... I'm so sorry. It's the cherries, they were that good. If I Actually, I won't move this so the cameraman can get it. Here I have just orange juice or clementine, some zest and some limoncello. You simply boil it down to a syrup and that is absolutely exceptional. Now, over here is the classic tiramisu biscuits. You can buy them in all yeah. supermarkets. They're just dried. You can use regular sponge if you want, buy it or make Ladies it. Ladies' fingers. Ladies' fingers, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. We're going to put 200 ml of coffee or good espresso in there. You can lightly season, uh, lightly sweeten it if it's bitter, and that will be absorbed by the sponge to give you that little kick. Enough? Tiramisu means pick me up. So what we can do now is embellish it with Ooh. some beautiful things. Um, so I'm going to put some fresh cherries. But like I say, if you went for these incredible jarred or syrupy tinned ones, uh, the ones that have tickled your throat. I really have. Um, I'm trying so hard to hold it in, but it does make it Christmassy. And of course, <laughs> should you wish. Should you? Don't you worry, darling. My cooking normally has a <laughs> No, no, people. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to go in with that incredible creamy mixture. Now, you can do two layers um, with this. So you can oh, go so the cream, nice. then the sponge, then the cream, then the sponge. But this, my friends, is the simplest, most delicious dessert for Christmas or that. Christmas time. And we can then embellish it mm. more. The idea is that we can take... And actually, Christmas has always been about taking friends uh, and, and making them posh for Christmas. So <laughs> we can take some of that cherry juice like nice. that. But we can take the essence of Christmas, which is um, a clementine, and zest it over the top. And then so Phil... true. That's the smell of Christmas, isn't oh, it? Oh, it so is. And then Phil's going to show you a little trick. Now, Britain, have a look at Phil right now. We're going to go towards <laughs> the crotch area. And what's going to happen, he's going to show you, you're going to get a large chopper. Uh, he's going to put a piece of white chocolate or any chocolate next to his upper thigh. Close up, please, Mr Cameraman. Uh, he's then going to put the knife down and he's going to scrape on, the, the white dish, chocolate. The dish is in the way. Hang on. Oh, right. what's in the way? This dish? Uh, yeah. So right. Phil is going to show you I'll how to you. shave chocolate. And this is great for trifles, any chocolate dessert or even this tiramisu. Right. So he's going to gently place the large knife at the end of the chocolate. He's going to drag it evenly and slowly towards him. Oh, yeah. And as he does that, he's going to create the most beautiful shavings. It's very easy to do. Uh, get your chocolate at room temperature. And Phil, at this moment in time, will show you what's at the other end of his knife, which he obviously... Oh, yeah, it's so that's that's it. Look at that. so good. So if you can just hold it above that there and slowly tap it like an advert. <laughs> uh, well done. For, let's hear it for Phil. Well done. <laughs> um, uh, now... This is clearly ridiculous. It's the most lackluster <laughs> applause I've <laughs> ever heard. No, you, you did a fine job. <laughs> this is edible gold, right? Now, it's completely ridiculous oh. and daft, but actually Christmas has always been about daft things like this uh, and, and beautiful ingredients, and you can get these in cook shops. So it's it's just... not oh, crazy so expensive, is it? No. I mean, it's, it's, no, no. Uh, it's one of those... It looks, it looks fun. Can you buy it in think, sheets oh, like so this. it comes in sheets. Look, it's daft, it's stupid, it makes no logical sense. Oh, no, sense, I love that. But this is Very Christmassy. Christmas is all about that. So would you like to try some? Let's have a little go. Love I'm going to get in there. I'm going to give you a nice little portion. It's really good made the day before. Mr Cameraman, if you can see the inner workings of this here, yes. you get the layers, so very, very nice. Philip, feel free. i got gold on my tongue. Oh, you see? Well, you're that posh. So, um, feel free to eat away. If you would like to walk <laughs> over this way... You're so um, happy with that, aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to show you some other things. Um, so, in front of oh, us here... Oh, wow, that is good. Uh, ..as they tuck in, we have a whole array of dishes from the book. Uh, these are Italian dishes, um, but we've got a wonderful 
chocolate dessert here with rum uh, and uh, and beautiful amaretti biscuits. It's almost like a creme brulee, but it's kind of like a Turin nice. style. Over here, we have an amazing fruit. This is pear. Fruit and almond tart and a little hazelnuts in there. Here is a rum bar. <gasps> that one of my looks favorites. incredible. So soaked in the most incredible syrup uh, with tutti frutti flavors with orange zest, clementine, cinnamon, bay leaves, oh. ginger, stuff like that. Uh, over here we have cannoli, a nice little close up there. Look at the piping in there. What's it? What, what is that? Well, it's, well, it's, it's, a, it's basically fried pasta rings right. stuffed with chocolate and, and a little oh. grappa and ricotta cheese, which you can get everywhere now. And here a lemon tart. Have a little go. Oh, lemon tart is my There's favorite so much dessert. It. I've not got... I'm going to snip, nick one of these plates. Feel free, Pete. Oh, I give out a whole way yeah, longer. <laughs> you should get texture there and uh, mm. really tart. delicate chocolate. Lemon tart is my favourite dessert. Ah, oh, well, simple things done well. That's an Amalfi, a lemon tart. It's really, the story really of my nice. life. <laughs> so mm. there you go. Oh, one thing I must show you. Um, everyone goes crazy mm. for a certain chocolate spread. Um, and this is called Jondouille, which is basically the original... Uh, I guess you would call it a Nutella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and actually, this has got chocolate in it. <laughs> and this has got the, the hazelnuts in it. And that, on toast, desserts, oh, is so you, incredible. Oh, so you still have it on toast? So this is basically the original. Go Thank on. you, Jamie. Okay. You're welcome.